flora and fauna is from Chesapeake. It's a value line that comes from Brewster wall coverings. Has a hint of farmhouse, some vintage charm in here, lots of watercolors. Take a look at this tie dye. And then there's a floral, and then there is a texture. Most, uh, most of the time this book has multiple coordinates that allow you to mix and match. Great for his and hers type decor. Also excellent in Jack and Jill baths or using for a wall, a ceiling, and then maybe a bookcase. Think lake house, cottage, farmhouse. This one gives you a little bit of an OG design. Very simple block print leaf here. And there's also a chevron wood that goes with it. And these are coming in several palettes. Here's an idea of how that will feature for you in a home. Here's this very subtle cottage, farmhouse, even organic modern in style. Some fun dog prints here. Great for a mud room or a um, powder bath. Maybe a uh, room for um, the dog shower or something like that. It's kid friendly as well for a playroom or even a kid's bedroom who just loves dogs. Here's your simple ringed quilt pattern. Here's your dogs up close. And you can see how it looks in a shared kid's bedroom. Some more cottage core patterns. Some of them are small prints, which are nice. These days, a lot of the newer books are extra large patterns. So for those of you who like smaller prints, this is the book for you. Some soft colors in these. And then just take a look at how that shows up. Very charming, very um, British or um, English in influence. European style, a nice little fish and a rustic wood. Those come in several colors here and allow for uh, lake house and beach house decor. Here you go, this is it in a bathroom. This is your wood up close. It's just a very nice layer type texture. The birds in a couple of colors here along with the faux grass cloth look and a simple tile look. Again, these are patterns that are set up to mix and match or to layer into your decor.